the city, O oh, prostitute forgotten. Play the harp well, sing many a song so that you will be remembered. At the end of seventy years, the Lord will be with Tyre. She will return to her hire as a prostitute and will ply her trade with all the kingdoms on the face of the earth. Yet her profit and her earnings will be set apart for the Lord. They will not be stored up or hoarded. Her profits will go to those who live before the Lord for abundant food and fine clothes. Chapter 24 See, the Lord is going to lay waste the earth and devastate it. He will ruin its face and scatter its inhabitants. It will be the same for priest as for people, for master as for servant, for mistress as for maid, for seller as for buyer, for borrower as for lender, for debtor as for creditor. The earth will be completely laid waste and totally plundered. The Lord has spoken this word. The earth dries up and withers. The world languishes and withers. The exalted of the earth languish. The earth is defiled by its people. They have disobeyed the laws, violated the statutes, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt. Therefore, earth's inhabitants are burned up and very few are left. The new wine dries up and the vine withers. All oh, the merrymakers groan. The gaiety of the tambourines is still. The noise of the revelers has stopped. The joyful harp is silent. No longer do they drink wine with a song. The beer is bitter to its drinkers. The ruined city lies desolate. The entrance to every house is barred. In the streets they cry out for wine. All joy turns to gloom. All gaiety is banished from the earth. The city is left in ruins. Its gate is battered to pieces. So will it be on the earth and among the nations as when an olive tree is beaten or as when gleanings are left after the great harvest. They raise their voices. They shout for joy. From the west they acclaim the Lord's majesty. Therefore in the east give glory to the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord, the God of Israel, in the islands of the sea. From the ends of the earth we hear singing. Glory to the righteous one. But I said, I waste away. I waste away. Woe to me, the treacherous betray. With treachery, the treacherous betray. Terror and pit and snare await me. Whoever flees at the sound of terror will fall into a pit. Whoever climbs out of the pit will be caught in a snare. The floodgates of the heavens are open. The foundations of the earth shake. The earth is broken up. The earth is split asunder. The earth is thoroughly shaken. The earth reels like a drunkard, its ways like a hut in the wind. So heavy upon it is the guilt of its rebellion that it falls. Never rise again. In that day, the Lord will punish the powers in the heavens above and the kings on the earth below. They will be herded together like prisoners bound in a dungeon. They will be shut up in prison and be punished after many days. The moon will be abashed, the sun ashamed, for the Lord Almighty will reign on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before its elders gloriously. Chapter 25 O oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name, for in perfect faithfulness you have done marvelous things, things planned long ago. You have made the city a heap of rubble, the fortified town a ruin, the foreigner's stronghold a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong peoples will honor you. Cities of ruthless nations will revere you. You have been a refuge for the poor, a refuge for the needy in his distress, a shelter from the storm and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm driving against a wall and like the heat of the desert. 
You silence the uproar of foreigners. As heat is reduced by the shadow of a cloud, so the song of the ruthless is stilled. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all peoples, a banquet of aged wine, the best of meats and the finest of wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples, the sheep that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove the disgrace of his people from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. In that day, they will say, Surely this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. The hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, but Moab will be trampled under him as straw is trampled down in the manure. They will spread out their hands in it as a swimmer spreads out his hands to swim. God will bring down their pride despite the cleverness of their hands. He will bring down your high fortified walls and lay them low. He will bring them down to the ground, to the very dust. This concludes Disc 36. Chapter 26 In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God makes salvation its walls and ramparts. Open the gates that a righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord is the rock eternal. He humbles those who dwell on high. He lays the lofty city low. He levels it to the ground and casts it down to the dust. Feet trample it down, the feet of the oppressed, the footsteps of the poor. The path of the righteous is level. O oh, upright one, you make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, Lord, walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown are the desire of our hearts. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. Though grace is shown to the wicked, they do not learn righteousness. Even in a land of uprightness, they go on doing evil and regard not the majesty of the Lord. Oh, Lord, your hand is lifted high, but they do not see it. Let them see your zeal for your people and be put to shame. Let the fire reserved for your enemies consume them. Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. O oh Lord, our God, other lords besides you have ruled over us, but your name alone do we honor. They are now dead. They live no more. Those departed spirits do not rise. You punish them and brought them to ruin. You wiped out all memory of them. You have enlarged the nation, O oh Lord. You have enlarged.